Enough around town. Hey, Anna. Good morning. We're at the Culture Museum in Pilsen with artist Roger J. Carter, who you were a, a software engineer before you went full time? Yes, yes, a software engineer for 20 plus years. So, um, kind of, well, it's, it's not hard to tell. I'm kind of a geek, but uh, yeah. <laughs> So Why? That, is that because you still have toy soldiers around? Because I still play with toys at my age. Uh, but what on. I love is the social conscience that you always have in your work yeah. and that you haven't forgotten your roots and the causes that are important to the community yeah. th through your art. So I think it makes it even more accessible that you do figures like Harold Washington, our first African-American uh, yeah. mayor. And what did you, what are those pieces in that work of art? So that's Harold uh, made of uh, chess pieces. I, I remember that election yeah. vividly as a, as a child and I thought mm -hmm. it was really smart how he got elected and it was the grassroots movement mm -hmm. and, uh, and so forth. So I, I, that's more of a, an ode to Harold and, and how smart his team was as well as Harold. And then over here, George Floyd. So that's George Floyd. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not Martin Luther, Martin Luther King. Um, so that's kind of made like, you know, my software engineering background. I have yeah. tons and tons of computer keys. Mm -hmm. uh, so I kind of assembled that piece that's called Say Their Name. So that's, uh, you know, victims uh, of uh, maybe police brutality, police brutality or, yeah. or, or what have you. So uh, you were telling me that also the way that you start is by doing the T-zone, the eyes and the nose, and you never get up to see, or I mean, you play, you work standing up, but you never step back to see what it looks like. No, no, I don't, because I mean, as an artist, it's important to draw the shapes first. Mm -hmm. You get the shape down, and then that's kind of really what I do. I get the shape first, and then I really don't see the last, the final result till I stand it up and, and step back. So um, that, that kind of works out for us. Why is it important for you to also paint the base uh, drawing or painting? Uh, it's more of an underpainting, like underpainting. A, that's the word you use. Yeah, yeah. like like in, in in all arts, you got to have like an underpainting. It gives it a little bit more texture, more more depth. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm thinking the soldiers and the 3D pieces really gives it that, that layers upon layers of, uh, of, of, of of artwork, which a lot of artists kind of follow. Is there a battle going on on this one, Roger? Come with me. Yeah. <laughs> is so this, this when is you geek a, out real big? This is really when I geek out. Mm -hmm. So this is like uh, the Black Panther uh, Marvel uh, series. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, the two are centered off yeah. uh, with one another, uh -huh. uh, followed by the soldiers and, and so forth, and even some mm -hmm. random characters like Superman and uh, He-Man. I was a big He-Man guy. I love uh, it. Uh, growing up. And your pieces come small, big, and all price points because you want to keep your art accessible, right? Yeah, I definitely want to keep it uh, accessible. Uh, it, all the art is one of a kind, created uh, by me, so it's not really... We had a small run of prints, mm -hmm. but I do a little small pieces to make it more affordable for the community. And, it was great and, and to meet message. you. I've been a fan for a long time Roger J. Carter check him out on Instagram as well we're gonna take it back to the studio